therapy. For oxygen therapy, we give oxygen to the patient based on the doctor's order. One of the goal for this is to reduce the workload of breathing and to reduce the stress of the mind. to assess the patient by counting the respiratory rate of the breath sounds of the patient and observing if the patient is having some symptoms of dyspnea or difficulty of breathing. You can also measure the patient's oxygen saturation. The normal breath sounds is clear. The abnormal breath sounds are what you call adventitious sound. Okay, the reason for assessing the respiratory rate, the uh, signs of uh, symptoms of dyspnea, and uh, taking the oxygen saturation is that so that you will have baseline data. Step number two, you already have the baseline data, respiratory rate, breath sounds, and signs and symptoms of dyspnea. The next thing you have to do is to check for physician order, okay? If there is no physician order, you have to refer the abnormalities to the, to the physician. Say, doctor, good morning. I checked my patient. He is having difficulty of breathing. His oxygen saturation is 90% and his respiratory rate is 30 breaths per minute. Facilitate oxygen therapy via nasal cannula, for example, regulate at 3 liters per minute. Step number three is to perform medical hand washing and gloving. Specified nasal cannula, right? I also need some gauze. Okay, right here. Okay. Then step number five is to identify the patient name. Can you please tell me your name and check the medical record number which is in the patient's ID band right here. And the third one is you can ask the patient's birth date. These are the three identifiers, the patient's name, the medical record number, and the patient's birth date. Okay. You need to identify the patient using two out of three identifiers. Step number six is to explain the procedure to the patient. Hi, my name is, is Mark. I am your nurse for this shift and I'm going to administer oxygen inhalation for you. Would that be fine with you? Okay. Then step number seven is to put the patient on semi-fowler's position. to 60 degrees all right this position is a position of comfort to make the patient breathe effectively so that the diaphragm can go down downwards uh, without any uh, difficulties so step number nine is to attach the oxygen delivery device to the oxygen source Oxygen. Okay? Mr. Muhammad, I'm going to attach now this oxygen cannula right through your nose. Okay? By attaching first to the nose, through the nose, and coiling it up of the ears right here. And then locking it under the jaw or the chin of the patient. Next step is to 
put a gauze between the tubing and the ears. Why? Assemble the equipment. Now, Mr. Muhammad, I'm gonna return to you after five minutes or ten minutes. To check again your respiratory rate, your breath sounds, your oxygen saturation, and to check whether our oxygen therapy has been effective. Okay. Next step is to ensure the patient's comfort. And the next step is to remove the uh, used materials, remove your gloves, perform a post-procedure hand washing, and finally document the procedure. Document the procedure, oxygen inhalation, administered by a nasal cannula regulated at 3 liters per minute as ordered by the doctor. The first step is need to assess the patient by counting the respiratory rate of the breath sounds of the patient and observing if the patient is having some symptoms of dyspnea or difficulty of breathing. You can also measure the patient's Oxygen saturation. Step number two, check for physician order. Okay? If there is no physician order, you have to refer the abnormalities to the, to the physician. Step number three is to perform medical hand washing and gloving. Then step number five is to identify the patient. Can you please tell me your name and check the medical record number which is in the patient's ID band right here. And the third one is you can ask. Step number six is to explain the procedure to the patient. Hi, my name is, is Mark. I am your nurse for this shift and I'm going to administer oxygen inhalation for you. Would that be fine with you? Okay. Then step number seven is to put the patient on semi-fowler's position. So step number nine is to attach the oxygen delivery device to the oxygen source. Turn on the regulator up to the level ordered by the doctor. Then, after you turn it on, after you open it, check for the patency. That is step number 10. Mr. Muhammad, I'm going to attach now this oxygen cannula right through your nose. Okay? By attaching first to the nose, through the nose, and coiling it up of the ears right here. And then locking it under the jaw or the chin of the patient. Next step, put a gauze between the tubing and the yeah. ears. Assemble the equipment. Now, Mr. Muhammad, I'm gonna return to you after five minutes or ten minutes. 
to check again your respiratory rate, your breath sounds, your oxygen saturation, and to check whether our oxygen therapy has been effective. Okay. Next step is to ensure the patient's comfort. And the next step is to remove the uh, used materials, remove your gloves, perform a post-procedure hand washing, and finally document the procedure. Document the procedure, oxygen inhalation administered by a nasal cannula regulated at 3 liters per minute as ordered by the doctor.